everyone and welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm so excited to share with you the amazing results of our collaboration with the wonderful ohuhu art brand but before we get to that if you are new here i'm yuni and i love making art in my own style on my channel i show you the complete process of creating my drawings and paintings talk about art supplies and share inspiration, advice and tips with you. If you love art like I do and want to have a good time creating together with me, subscribe to my channel and leave a like under this video. Thank you! Let's start with the sketchbook first. It's a mixed media pad in the smallest size available that is the standard size for sketchbooks or notebooks. I just adore smaller sketchbooks like this one because I'm just more comfortable drawing in them. It's so quick and easy to fill the pages or create whole spreads. Also, I can pack it in my handbag or backpack without worrying about whether it will fit because it certainly will. I was really excited to see that my package from Ohuhu also included 48 George's colors of Honolulu alcohol markers with two brush and chisel nibs. I will show you two other products in this video, but for now let's focus on the sketchbook and alcohol markers. This sketchbook is crafted from the finest quality paper with a weight of 200 GSM offering an incredible smooth surface that's perfect for creating stunning, detailed and clean artwork. It means that it prevents bleeding, smudging and feathering, making it the ideal choice for a whole host of dry art media, including alcohol markers, solvent markers, colored pencils, pastels and inks. The sketchbook has 62 pages, which means you get a total of 124 pages to work with. The only issue is with alcohol markers as the ink bleeds through to the other side of the page. But don't worry, this isn't a problem with, for example, colored pencils. It also has micro perforated pages, which tear off easily and leave clean edges. You don't have to worry about ugly edges and torn paper, you will be able to confidently tear out the piece of paper when something doesn't work out for you or you want to give someone your drawing as a gift. The spiral design makes it also really easy for you to enjoy your drawing experience. You can turn the pages as many times as you like and explore your ideas from all sides. I have to say that I just love the texture of this paper because it's so smooth and pleasant to the touch. We also get a transparent pad which we should put under the sheet when we paint with alcohol markers to make sure the ink doesn't bleed through onto the next sheet. It's a similar story with alcohol markers where you will also find a translucent pad in the kit. Ah, the wonderful alcohol markers from Ohuhu. They are so well known, everyone has heard of them. There's probably no such person out there who doesn't know about them. Huge numbers of people consider these alcohol markers to be the perfect option and now I totally understand why that is. These markers really are perfect and it's so easy to see why everyone loves them. Firstly, their tip is absolutely perfect. It's not too soft nor too hard. The set also includes one colorless blender. Blending the colors is such a joy. Just take a look at the video and you will see how beautifully these colors blend together. I recently noticed that there is also a fine tips version instead of chisel nibs, which really surprised me. I'm really curious to see if this nib would work well for line art. I would love to give it a try someday. You know, Ohuhu alcohol markers are really great because the ink doesn't spill, especially if you draw in a sketchbook from the same art brand, so I think this could work really well. I'm really looking forward to seeing how they will behave on other types of paper. 
there's plenty more testing to come, so it will be fun to see what happens. And oh my, the colors, they are so wonderfully saturated. I think the color set is great overall, but it would be a good thing if Ohuhu could include more skin tone colors in this set, as I mainly draw characters and mostly use colors like this. But you know what? There's no such thing as a bad thing. I decided that this time I would step out of my comfort zone and try something completely different. I was having a look through the Pinterest app and I found lots of George's pictures of cakes, drinks and other sweet treats. Given that I am currently trying to eat a little healthier, it was a little tricky looking at it all. I had to really exercise my self-control. I have a feeling that just looking at this George's food made my stomach feel full, but I couldn't resist. I ate it all with my eyes. Let's have a little chat about stepping out of your comfort zone. I must admit I don't often do this because I just love what I know and what feels familiar and safe for me. It's really funny though, because I still love to experiment. It's totally understandable to want to stay in our comfort zone and stick to what we know. We can all be a bit scared of failing sometimes and that can stop us from trying new things and going beyond our comfort zone. We don't take the risks we need to take to grow, and before we know it, our artistic development grins to a halt. We just stay where we are and we don't grow. This means we will never be able to achieve more. It can be really disheartening to see artists I know or have only heard of online who had such amazing potential but after all this time haven't made much progress. It's easy to justify ourselves from taking risks. We can describe ourselves as experts in certain subjects and remain safe from judgment. We try new things, but when we encounter any form of failure, no matter how small, we retreat into our comfort zone. It's so important to avoid limiting our artistic development and potential especially when we are learning and discovering ourselves as artists. At the end of the day, we are always learning and discovering, no matter what level we've reached. It's so important to experiment and take risks when you are developing your artistic skills. Sometimes we have to accept things that seem a little strange or different to us, it's so important to experiment with different media and subjects that might feel a little outside our comfort zone. Don't see this as a risk of failure, but rather a risk of success. You've got so much potential as an artist, so don't hold back. It's so important to look for opportunities to experience things that we may feel are beyond our abilities. The truth is, we will never know until we give it a go. It's so important to remember that one try isn't enough. It's totally normal for our first experience with a new medium, technique or subject not to produce amazing results. It's so important to be kind to ourselves and to be willing to invest some time and effort in order to see results. When you are trying something new in your art, remember to have fun. Approach it like a child with curiosity and openness. Be open to any mistakes you make, but don't let them stop you from trying again. I'm so interested to know what are your feelings about stepping outside your comfort zone? Let me know in the comments. And now a big warm thank you to the lovely Ohuhu brand for giving me this amazing opportunity to collaborate. It wasn't so long ago that I said in one of my videos that Ohuhu was the dreamiest brand for me to have the chance to work with. 
I never in my wildest dreams thought it would ever happen. I was so happy and excited when I saw the email from them and I couldn't stop jumping up and down and screaming with joy. I'm sure you are all tired of me going on and on about how grateful I am for all the amazing opportunities that come my way. I have to say that YouTube and video recordings were the key to finally being able to follow my passion and feel truly fulfilled at work. I still can't get over how quickly it all happened and guess what? I got my first collaboration even though I didn't have 300 subscribers yet. Someone even wrote a comment under one of my videos saying how amazing it is that brands are supporting small artists these days. I feel the same way and I'm so grateful. When I'm feeling a little down, I remind myself of all the good things that have happened to me recently. I truly believe that if we are good people, good things will come back to us twice as much. Thank you so much again, Ohuhu. I'm excited to share that I also got to test out the watercolor paint set, which has 24 paint colors. But that's not all. The set also includes six amazing nylon brushes in different sizes. The bristles on these brushes are absolutely perfect for watercolors, they are soft and there's no risk of them scratching or tearing the paper. As you know, I absolutely love painting with watercolors, but I've never tried using aquarelle in tubes before, so I was really excited to give it a go. I wasn't sure if I should use them right away after adding them to the palette or if I needed to wait until they were completely dry. However, I thought why not give it a go and start painting straight away. I didn't have any pans to hang the paints in, so I used my beloved porcelain paint palette instead. The first thing I noticed was the skin tone color, which I am really happy about. I don't know if you have the same as me, but when I have to mix the paints in such a way to get the perfect shade of such a color, I have to really persist and work hard. Sometimes it comes out to pink, sometimes to yellow or orange. By the time I get the perfect color, I've used up quite a lot of paint. I didn't know what to expect, but it exceeded all my expectations as I was delighted with the depth of these paints and how beautifully they spread across the paper. What's more, I thought the markers would catch my attention more, but I was wrong. It was the watercolors that stole my heart the most. I will have to test them a few more times, but they have a predisposition to beat my favorite Van Gogh watercolors and will probably do so. Sometimes I feel like I might sound dishonest because there hasn't been a time yet when I haven't liked a product. I always praise everything and I am delighted with everything, but it's true. I am really delighted with all the art supplies I get. It's not at all that I am not very demanding for art products, quite the opposite. As you can see, I just couldn't be myself if I didn't combine all this media with colored pencils. This time I went for Prismacolor Premier colored pencils, which I absolutely love. I really wanted to keep my cartoon style in these drawings, so I thought that adding line art with them would be the best way to achieve this effect. What about you? Do you combine watercolor paints or alcohol markers together with colored pencils? Do you like mixed media techniques? Let me know in the comments. The last product I received from the Ohuhu brand was a set of 8 black fine liners in different thicknesses. I can't even remember the last time I used fine liners for drawings that weren't done with just black ink. I mean, when I first started out in manga style drawing, I always used fine liners to do line art. 
It's actually been a little while since I've done outlines with just colored pencils. I also remember that I always had trouble with fine liners smudging when I tried to paint over them with watercolors or alcohol markers, so I had to test them to see if they could handle it. And guess what? They did. I'm really happy with how this worked out. Not a single smudge and the ink held up perfectly when I used it with another medium. Such a big plus. I absolutely can't wait for October and the Inktober because I just know these fine liners are going to be perfect for taking on the challenge. I also added some adorable little stars and I drew two more strawberries which I covered with alcohol markers. And just look at this, it's so easy to keep it clean and smudge free with these fine liners. I'm also really happy to be able to share a special discount code with you, all thanks to the kind team at Ohuhu. You can enjoy up to 10% off your purchase with this code. I've included a special link to the Ohuhu shop in the description of this video, so if you would like to take advantage of this discount, just enter via this link. When you are shopping, just use the code UNIART and enjoy your discount. In the description below this video, you will also find links to all the products I used in this video. If you are interested in them, be sure to take a look at the description. I hope you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. See you soon, bye!